these are all bowed and chipped and I mean falling apart that one there has got a break in the middle where it bows in and out so I got a screw on either end of it but yeah they're just all out of out of straight if you want to put it that way see look at how that one's cockeyed down there but made a little frame up there now I'm cutting the shelving to put up in there let's go this route so the lighting's better there's a little nipple there see those nipples well you gotta push in on it to pop it out of there push in and pull up and this one push in on the bottom and pull out now I took a screwdriver for that bottom one and I went down here under these hoses and I came up this way to push that tab in okay I pushed that tab in and pulled it out all right so that's one little trick to do it all right now if you look up in there you see the clip on that one all right I wish I could mount this light where you could see, but I'm just going to go and grab the clip and pull it off. And that one should start sinking down too. The bottom of these things are all rotted out. Look at that. I can uh, get them lubed up for their flexibility. See, that one's not coated yet. That one is. See the difference? When I get home. All right, now I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to coat it up. Let's take my coatings here and put it on. And, and then I'm just going to go ahead and rub it in with a, a shop towel. These airbags and putting these air springs in are not that difficult of a job at all. If you do it the right way. If you do it the incorrect way and not pay attention and you will find yourself in a cussing storm. My AC. I already took the cap off and my charging port is down there. See I've already got hose attached to it. There's the hose. I gotta put this on to the to the can and do the charging. Here's the can. We're using AC Pro with leak stop in it. See how cold it is? Oh, it's almost like ice now. That's what I needed. Whoa, baby. There we go. I can pull that off. Alright, we're gonna do some grilling of hamburgers. So we're gonna do a quick grill. Um, I mean I'm not gonna do a fancy hamburger. Sister sauce. And I'd like to put some A1 in, if I got nothing here. Round those edges around. That's three burgers on the grill. I don't like cooking them right over the coals because I don't want them burnt up. So I cook them off to the sides. Gives them more of a slow cook. If I open that and leave that that open, this temperature will go up. 
So it's right about good. So we're good for that. We'll be back again in about another 10, 15 minutes. I keep dropping the camera down. I'm flipping these. It's really smoking now. Okay. It's way brighter on, on in real life than it is on the camera. There's a second one up there. You can't even see the second one on camera. But you can see it in real life. With your eyeballs. Yeah, right there. Oh, that's really hard. Alright, where's my... <coughs> Alright. Now one of the other problems I was having is a parasitic draw with this thing. This thing was pulling, you leave it sit for a couple days and you would end up with going out there to start it and be click, 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 dead. All right, so I got my trusty little cheapo. I found that somewhere. I don't remember. I've had it for I don't know how many years. That multimeter and that one as well, my new one. It's got its own light on it. That's one of these clamp ones, too. All right, but anyway, um, and I connected up. I actually used this one to see the draw, and I was getting the draw. It was dropping, charging at vehicle running. It was 14.4, 14.7. So my alternator is charging the battery. Now. Twelve point eight, twelve point seven. Oops, holding steady at twelve point seven. So the battery's holding its charge for now. We're going to let it sit. And we'll come back and check it out later. But just good for a bloodstream, huh? Get a little bit more on there. Before and after, I don't know if the, the lighting, one is shiny, let's bring them down here and see this, uh, see the difference, before and after, I don't know if you can see that, a little on the tour upside, still good, but hey, I'm under there, right, there they are. Put a little wheel bearing grease and pop them up in there. Makes them go up in there easier. <sighs> Let's go over the other side where I got to lift the light. I did that one last. There we go. 
there's the bearings new bushings are on and I'll get them all up in there after I get the springs and shocks up which I'm not gonna do tonight that's the part number for the this hose there we go this can oh I lubed up the bolts it's the bottom bolt there hold on a sec creeper was on the on the cord so there's how the bottom bolt goes on there there's the bottom clamp on that but the shocks up the top there you follow the shock up to the bolt up there at the top is the bolt that's the shock right there that's gonna be a pain to get to and the other bolt is up there you can see it's sticking out up there. So, that's why I only spend a little bit of time on it anymore and then walk away. That's why I don't do it for a living anymore. I used to work at a dealership. Out in uh, I'm going to get those wrapped up and stored up here so that they're not on the exhaust or anything moving. As you can see, like I said earlier, I did put my uh, fuel line hose on right there got the new one on so she's coming along just taking a little bit of time getting the parts as I get under here and I see more things I want to do I just go get the parts and get up under here and do it so that's where we're at now like I said everything is buttoned up there secured up nice and neat you gotta do what? I forget now I'm not sure which one it is most bell peppers you'll either have four bumps on the bottom or three I think the four bumps is male and the three bumps are female. One's sweeter than the other. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right down the middle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You got your faces to the thing. See how we got the white portion portion there? Let's go, let's go. We're gonna cut that out. get towards the end it gets a little tricky they like to fall out be pushed out and knocked out of line when you're cutting but you can hold your own and it's got to do this one and then we'll mix it in and there we have it that is what's going to be getting mixed in with the hamburger some vegetables now to me placing the charcoal is like putting together a piece of a puzzle you want it in the right places. You want air to flow from underneath. Uh, you want the airflow going in this way. And you want the charcoal spread out. But you want the airflow in between it. It's just don't pour it in and let it go. You got to put it in the right direction, the right angles, the right pieces. See, we got, we got airflow everywhere. All right, now we're going to fire up the charcoal and get it going. And one of the things I do is I put these two grids up, okay, after I'm ready to light the charcoal, I light it from underneath, and then I'll put this final grid on here. That way the flames can burn off whatever's on the grids, even after you've cleaned them off. It kind of sanitize the grids. So we'll be ready to pop, place that one up there shortly. Let's fire this up. And now we're getting it fired up. There's a screensaver for y'all. Hell, it just it barely comes out when you do it this way with the shaker. So it looks like I'm putting in a lot, but I'm not putting in a lot. We're gonna get some time in here. How many people you see cooking using time, huh? Okay, a little bit of time. Okay, so here we are. We got the noodles. We got the baked beans. I added 
some garlic and minced onion to the baked beans. They're organic baked beans. And we got our sausages cooking. That's right. So there you got a bird's eye view of what's on the grill. Of what's for dinner. Yeah, you're somebody saying, well, where's the leafy greens? Well, we don't have any leafy greens today. Other than the herbs that we've added are leafy greens that are very good for immune system. All right, Chip. Oh, you see the mirrors? They're not going anywhere when someone isn't looking. Oh, yeah. A lot of mirrors are like that. But a lot of other mirrors now, when you shut off your vehicle, they automatically retract. You gotta check this out. Well, that thing's smooth running. You're not gonna get a 1988 for that price that runs that smooth. Man, that's running sweet. Oh, that is. No, no, no misfires, no backfires, uh, no the, spitting. So the tuner that rebuilt that, he's the guy that did all the vehicles for uh, Fast and Furious. Oh, really? Yeah. Fast and Furious? <laughs> I gotta meet the guy. Yeah, they work on some high, high end, high end vehicles. No wonder that thing's like almost perfectly running. I mean, perfectly running. Not doing so well. I finally got a zucchini flower open. One thing I like to do is take a little paintbrush and lightly dab the center where the pollen is and then go over to where the flowers are for my tomatoes and dab in there just slightly. So that can go ahead and cross pollinate. Right, an easy way to make some good tasting broccoli. Okay, this is the way I do it. Put a little bit of salt water in here. Turn it up on high. You're going to want to get it boiling. I don't need that high. You want it boiling. And then take your colander and cut up the broccoli and put it in your colander. Just like that. Okay? And then you just put it over here. I can put more water in there. I still got more room for water. So let's add a little bit more water because we're going to steam it. All right, we got some more water. We'll just set this up here, just like that, and then we will stir it as we go. Once it starts boiling, there we go. Once it starts boiling, we will stir it as we go, and then I'll show you what we add to it later. So we'll just keep coming back and checking on it. Of course, we got some chicken going over here. Some stuff for the dogs here, some fat and grizzle. Uh, cooking up for the dogs. And then we've got that. So, adjusting the light. Now you can throw a lid in there. Keep the steam in. And of course it'll come out the sides, but it keeps a little bit more steam in to cook it quicker. And then we're getting some butter going here. And we're going to mix that up. And there you have it. Cut the temp down a little bit. 